In this video, we will add and subtract mixed numbers. All right, so Aiden's teacher brings in pie for the students to eat on the last day of school. After lunch, one and one third pies have been eaten. At the end of the day, another one third pies were eaten. How many pies did the class eat in total that day? All right, so in order to add or subtract a mixed number, we first have to turn the mixed number into an improper fraction. Okay, so to do that, we're going to take our mixed number, which is one and one third, and turn it into an improper fraction. So to do that, you multiply your whole number by the denominator, so one times three, and then you add the numerator. So that would be four, and that becomes your numerator and then you keep your denominator. So our improper fraction is 4 thirds, and then we're going to add it to 1 third. So to add fractions together, the denominators have to be the same, which these are, so we don't have to do anything to the numbers. So then we just add across. 4 plus 1 is 5, and then we keep our denominator, which is 3, so it's 5 thirds is our improper fraction, but we need to write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. So now we need to turn 5 thirds back into a mixed number. So the way we do that is we say, how many times can 3 go into 5 without going over? Or we do 5 divided by 3. So the easier way to do it is to divide 5 by 3. Okay, so 3 goes into 5 one time. 3 times 1 is 3. And then you subtract. 5 minus 3 equals 2, okay? And you can't do any more. So our, our whole number is going to be 1. Our remainder is going to be our numerator. And we keep our denominator, okay? So our answer is 1 and 2 thirds. That's right. Okay. If it rains one fourth inches on Monday and one and one half inches on Tuesday, how many inches did it rain over Monday and Tuesday combined? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or mixed number. All right. So first things first, we need to turn our mixed number into an improper fraction. So we take one and one half. We got to turn that into an improper fraction. So we do one times two is two plus one is three. So remember, we're multiplying our whole number by the denominator, and then we add our numerator, and that becomes our new numerator, and we keep our denominator, okay? And, and then we need to add that to one fourth, but we can't add unless the denominators are the same. So in order to find our in order to add these, we need to find our least common denominators. Okay, so a least common denominator is the lowest multiple of both of the denominators. Okay, so that would be four, okay? Because four is our number here and two can go into four. So in order to turn this denominator into four, we would need to multiply our numerator and our denominator by the same number to change this fraction, okay? so. Our new fraction is going to be 6 fourths, okay, so, and we can cross these out so we don't get confused because this is our new fraction. 6 fourths plus 1 fourth equals 7 fourths, okay, so that's our mixed number. Now we need to turn that, that, I'm sorry, that's our improper fraction. Now we need to turn that back into a mixed number. So we have 7 fourths, okay, and we could go ahead and divide seven by four. Four goes into seven one time without going over. Seven minus four is three. So our whole number is going to be one. Okay, so that's the dividing. Then our numerator is our remainder. So it's going to be three. And we keep our denominator. So one and three fourths is our answer. Tyler writes in his journal for one and th one third hours on Saturday and one half hour on Sunday. How many hours did Tyler spend writing in his journal over the weekend? All right, so let's convert. 
So one and one third, we do our whole number by our denominator, which is going to be one times three is three, plus our numerator, which is one, so that's going to be four is our numerator, so four thirds. Okay, and then we want to add that to one half. So we have to find our least common denominator, which is the lowest common multiple. And I know the lowest common multiple of three and two is six, okay? So we need to get both, our, both of our denominators to be six, all right? So three times two would get us to six, but that means we also have to multiply this, our numerator by two. So this new fraction is eight, six, okay? And then to get this to be six, we have to multiply the two by three. We have to do this top, same to the top. So our new fraction over here is three sixths, okay? And then we can add across eight sixths plus three sixths equals 11 sixths, okay? Now we need to get it back as a mixed number, so we're going to divide 11 by six. Six goes into 11 once. Okay, so our whole number is one, our numerator is five, and we keep our six, so our answer is one and five six. Julia has been monitoring her mileage. According to last week's driving log, she, wrote, she drove one half mile in her car and two thirds miles in her truck. How far did she drive last week in all? Okay, so we need to add one half plus two thirds, but you can't just add those fractions. We need to get our denominators to be the same. So we're finding our least common multiple of two and three which I know is six because two, four, six, and three times two is six. Okay, so we have to make our denominator six. So that means we're going to multiply the top and the numerator and the denominator by the same thing. So our new fraction here is three sixths. Okay, and then to get this one to be six, we're multiplying by two. And we have to do the same thing to the top. So our new fraction here is four sixths. Okay, so four sixths plus three sixths is seven sixths. And then we are going to do, we need to figure out what the mixed number is. So seven divided by six. All right, so our answer is going to be one, this guy and one sixth. At Connor's pizza party, he and his friends ate three fourths pepperoni pizzas and one half Hawaiian pizzas. How many pizzas did Connor and his friends eat? All right, so we have three fourths and we have one half and we want to add those. So we need to find the least common multiple which I know is going to be eight. Okay, so we need to get both of these denominators to be eight. Three times two is six, four times two is eight. These to get to eight, we have to multiply by four. All right, so we have four eighths, and then you add together. So we have 10, eighths, all right, and then let's go ahead and do that division. Eight goes into 10 once, minus eight is two. So we have one and two eighths, but we need to simplify. Two eighths is not as simple as we could go. So for that, we divide it by the greatest common factor, which is two, okay, so one, Fourth. So our answer is one and one fourth. 